about the future of the country, about the future of the company you work for, about the future of the company that you're running, about the future of your career, right? You can be as high anxiety as you choose to be right now. What's up? Let's talk about simplicity. Let's talk about like less than a pound, getting actually done. Let's talk about having focus and purpose. Okay, I'm gonna show you a few products that I really like, namely this extremely minimal backpack that has been a delight to use. Some of you ultralight people are really gonna love that. I'm also gonna tell you about simple knife that I got. We're focusing on some simple, good products, okay? Because I want us to talk also about how to simplify our lives a little bit, okay? All right, the first thing I wanna talk about is this sucker. Okay, this is from z Packs. all right? Extremely low-key, minimal, hugely durable. I've used this to ruck around outside a bunch. Extremely water resistant, but it's, as we used to say in Northern California, it's hella light. z Packs sent this bag out a while ago. I have not paid to talk about this thing. I've just enjoyed using it. I immediately used it as my daily carry when my family was on the road. We did a huge road trip. It's hard to shelter in place when you don't have a place. And this bag was awesome to use, especially when I got it out in nature, when I took family days and like threw some pouches in there, my camera in just a pouch, right? Some snacks. They actually have these great little bags that they sent with this that I totally have been using to, to put snacks in for the family. You know, you can absolutely survive having kids if you can A, get to some like outdoor area and B, you have snacks. Extremely lightweight, less than a pound, 0.88 pounds. And you notice that when you're out and about. I know there's a lot of you out there who are super ultra lightweight people, right? This Dyneema material is, is like well known in the, in the lightweight world when every little ounce matters because super light material, extremely abrasion resistant, extremely durable. I had this thing down in dirt and mud, stuff just sloughs right off of it. Extremely water resistant, this whole bag, water sealed zips, the roll top just flaps down. Okay, so it's lightweight and it's durable, but what's it like to use? This is designed to be what I call like simple good. It has a tremendous amount of purpose in its design, to be simple, to be utilitarian, to be used by the largest number of people possible, right? For the largest number of tasks possible. Might not be the right aesthetic for a lot of you. Certainly if you're going into like, you know, offices. Are we, is anybody still going to offices? In the era of file cabinets. Yeah. We needed to, you know, have people taking printed out from office to office to hand to people, but we're just not in that age anymore. This does feel purposeful. This does feel good. Two simple pouches out here, a laptop-like pocket back here, very light padding. It actually has a uh, an insert that you can put in this sucker that I put my laptop in, I put my iPad in, I used it as my like tech, you know, carrier for a, for a little while there, but for the most part, I just threw my laptop right in here when I was traveling with it or t when it was time to like go somewhere with it, right? But these two very simple pouches, little, little tricks like this, okay? You see how we have this little ribbon right here? This is something a lot of smart bag designers, people who are focused on usability. Uh, this is kind of a known thing, but there's still a lot of bags that don't have this. Whenever you zip, you want to be, your, your chances are you're going to be using two hands, especially with this tiny little YKK zip. Again, saving weight as much as possible. Water sealed, really, really high performance zip, but it's tight. It's a tight zip. It's easy to do when you've got a counter pressure right there. How does this close? This closes down, first of all, there's some Velcro inside of here, and then I, it's just a fold down like this. Very small clip, right? Again, saving weight as much as possible. This is certainly smaller than I'm used to. But in use, I found that I got used to it. And it was just another little interaction on the bag that just felt like, oh, this thing is simple. This thing is purposeful. And I love this bag particularly because you can get out with it. We're gonna talk about getting out. Get outside. We're gonna talk about getting out in nature. Nature is free, right? <laughs> nature is free in two senses of the word. <laughs>
<laughs> right? Nature's free, brother. And also, it doesn't cost anything. Okay, when I came in, I had this little thing on, which they sent as in this little kit with it. It's like this <laughs> tiny little man purse. I love it, actually. I really, like, I put it in here, like everything that I need on a daily basis. So my battery, my car key, right? Some cords for that battery, a little wallet. They have this tiny little wallet. This is not paid for. I just, I dig what these guys have made. They seem to have a, a real purpose and real values in what they're making. Um, Killer little wallet for any of you looking for some wallets. But I literally take this around. Like this is this is now like I put this in my camera bag. I put this in whatever bag I'm carrying. It actually fits in one of these front pockets right here, but it's a little too tight. I found that I just threw it right in here or I just had it around because oftentimes this would be in the car or on the ground, but then I could go off in some berry field picking berries with my kids and I could have my phone thrown in here and get stuff out of my pockets, right? Okay, and I'm bringing this out because this is another product, simple, Good, this is Benchmade, okay? I asked my buddies, which knife should I go with? They said Benchmade and this one specific. I'll link to it below. I got it without a serrated edge. You can totally customize. I went for like the army green. I went for like the deep pocket clip right here. Black hardware on the green. It's cool, cool, cool company. Actually here in Oregon City uh, and outside of Portland. You can do a little like, oh, you can do a little like switchblade sort of thing, but you know, I mostly have just opened boxes with it. Though, so, though I have done some camping uh, and used it to make some kindling off of a bigger piece of wood, that felt manly. I tend to like to get stuff out of my pockets, you know, and this is another thing in my pocket, which is why it was in this guy. It's nice to have, it's come in handy. My, my son and I both got them, right? I, I got one, it was his first knife, this is a big deal. Right, because when you learn about knife safety, you're learning about responsibility. You're learning about, it's like, when you're a dad, you, <laughs> you need like that. But I have found that it's not the kind of thing that I necessarily love to have in my pocket, unless I'm doing a lot of boxing, box opening and, and you know, utility type of stuff, then it's, it's fun. But my style of carry tends to be as minimal as possible. Another thing that I always have in here is my AirPods. Okay, AirPods Pro, these are the sickest things in the world. If you don't have them and you're getting them, use my link. Another thing to get is, uh, is these earbuds from Tribit. They sent these, again, not sponsored, and I've used them a lot when I'm running because the AirPods fall out of my ears. Those things I really need. I don't necessarily love to have them in my pocket. This thing, I don't necessarily love to have it in my pocket, but it's nice to have, especially when you're in the Northwest and you never know when you might be making a bonfire. Okay, so I wanna talk about simplicity of life and a focus in purpose, okay? Right now, I don't know how much news you're watching. I don't know where you're getting your news, right? One of the things that's the most important thing in the world right now for all of us modern monkeys on the planet is just, is, is digital literacy, right? I like that it's, that it's common knowledge that like Fox has this perspective. That's like what they're filtering themselves through. That CNN has this perspective. It's what they're filtering themselves to. I've tend to just be like, I'm a Portlander. So it's like, you know, NPR, you get the tote bag. But more than ever, it's actually podcasts now. Like I love listening to people uh, on Joe Rogan because they get to really speak. I love listening to this scene on radio series on seeing white. Or I'll just like throw up a YouTube video where someone's like, <laughs> my buddy sent me this panel. It was like Killer Mike, T.I., Candace Owens, like <laughs> all sorts of people on this panel. I'll link to it below. I loved it because it was disagreement and it was conversation and it was dialogue. I bring up news right now because you can be as anxious as you want about coronavirus, about protests, about the future of the country, about the future of the company you work for, about the future of the company that you're running, about the future of your career, right? You can be as high anxiety as you choose to be right now, right? That's, we, we all get to be that great golden god deciding just how much indigestion we want. And yet, there's things that you're probably called up into doing right now. There's ways of contributing, the ways of using your voice, your skills, your talents. But you're not gonna be able to take very good action if you're scatterbrained, fucking moving in all directions at once, which is effectively the same thing as not doing anything at all. So simplicity of life, right? 
and a focus of purpose. That's what I want to talk to you about today, right? In your life, in your in your life, because nobody else is in that spacesuit, man. It's just, look at you, I'm in here. Everything I've done in life, everything I've seen, everything I've learned, it's been from behind these eyes, right? You're looking at me with your eyes, where you've seen everything from, where you're actively making decisions on what you're gonna do next, on what's important, right? On how, <laughs> how much of that ice cream you're really gonna eat. So when we're talking about simplicity of life and we're talking about a focus of purpose, okay? I wanna start with sleep. Sleep is one of the biggest things you can be watching. When I was thinking of doing this, I was like, I should just buy one of those Whoop bands right now. I'll, let me look at it. Talked to several of my friends in the space and Whoop is apparently the best one right now for tracking heart rate variability and the things that we really need to get for tracking ourselves. Okay, after looking into it, it's still, I'm not ready to, like, Whoop is expensive. I just want something to track my sleep better than this guy currently, though it does a decent job. I just don't necessarily trust it. Why am I bringing this up? Because simplicity of your life and a focus of your, uh, what's, what's the thing I'm talking about? Purpose. That is largely related to how well you sleep every night. That might sound reductionistic, but like, dude, you focus on your sleep, you get good sleep, you are going to, I know I just said dude, and I'm talking to more than just dudes, but dude, seriously, your sleep. Even Ariana Huffington, <laughs> she has all this money and all this research and all this, she's just like, yeah, sleep is the thing we should be doing. Okay, sleep, your relationships slash your people, okay? You are intuitively, what do we got going on? Just go down to the bottom, there you go. Your people, all right? How about your parents? How about your children? How about your employees or your clients? How about your, your wife, your husband, your kids, you know? Your people, how is your connection with them? Intimacy and connection with our people, the ones we do life with, we wanna have deep conversations. We want our place to feel like home, like peaceful. Right, like, like we can talk about whatever, whatever comes up, right? Your sleep, your people, and your budget, okay? Let's bring down our monthly nut as much as possible. I know a lot of you are already thinking all about this, right? But it's hard to feel safe. You know, in Buddhism, they talk a huge game about the difference between a, a reaction and a response. Like a response is what you're gonna be needing in your everyday life. You wanna be looking at the options from a relaxed point of view and going like, here's what needs to happen. Let's work in that direction, right? A focus of purpose. Well, you get that when you have some simplicity, right? And so much of simplicity is sleep, your relationships, and your budget, your finances. Because the big thing that we need from you right, that the world, the planet needs from you, that the planet needs from you, is for you to be able to take, you don't know what's coming tomorrow, right? You've got to be in a place where you can, you can take it in and you can make decisions, right? From a relaxed, holistic point of view. So we're not contributing to the problem, contributing to the schism, to the distortion, right? We want to see solutions. Simplicity of life and a focus of purpose. Why? So that we can take life as it comes. This episode is brought to you by One Farm. They have CBD products. They grow hemp plants super organically on a family farm. Really great farming practices as far as I can tell. That's why I've been spending so much time getting to know these people and trying to understand, because I don't want to partner with people who aren't tending the land well. I feel like that about the plants. I feel like that about the planet. There's no psychoactive, no THC in this. This is the 20 milligram. They have more. I've been using the 20 milligram. Okay, my trick on CBD, the most useful thing, the most useful thing for CBD is, you know that moment when you wake up in the middle of the night, maybe it's three or two or four, and you're like, should I just get up now and just start doing email? That's the moment for CBD. But I don't like to use it too regularly because I want it to stay potent. 
in my life, especially for those sleep moments. So shout out to One Farm, link below. When you use the link, it supports the channel. They didn't pay for me to talk to you about this. This is just, I've been putting together this relationship for a while. Okay, so here's this little diagram I think about personally when I'm thinking about like, what actions should I be taking, right? What should I be really focusing my time and energy on, right? Purpose turns into strategy, turns into action, turns into results, which turns back into purpose. It's feeding back. How are we doing? This is such a huge part of being a, like a person of impact on the planet is you're looking at your results. You're looking at your results and you're taking it in. Why? Because you're not so like self-righteous that you don't think you're going to make no mistakes, right? Is that, did I mean, did I say what I meant? Is that too many negatives? You're looking at the results because you wanna see if your purpose is being effective. Now, if our life isn't simplified enough, we're gonna be scatterbrained, okay? We're gonna be moving in all directions at once and never really applying our energies in a direction where we're gonna see results, right? This goes for your career. This goes for your relationship with your spouse, your relationship with your kids. This goes for how you grow your company or whatever it is that you're in right now. It certainly goes with how do we get actual action to happen in, for example, the United States, right? So that our systems improve. So the garden of this country can actually be blooming. You know, the, the wealth gap right now is real fucking troubling. Pardon my French, right? The people who can make money and are doing it, and then the people that seem to be being left behind, the fact that we're gonna have so many jobs automated, I loved that Andrew Yang bit about like Trump talking about bringing jobs back to the US. Yeah, the US robots. Buckminster Fuller used to always say like, this is Spaceship Earth. It's your fucking boat, dude. Spaceship Earth, we're all sinking in space. And that's a mystery and it's incredible, right? We're literally spinning around the sun in an orbit and then the sun's moving and we're orbiting that. And this is just one star of literally more stars than there are grains of sand. Are you kidding me? That's a cosmic perspective. Wow, man, wow. But the cosmic perspective can help actually bring down the stress in your life, can actually simplify your life because it's like, <laughs> it doesn't matter what you're gonna do. Like you're not changing the path that Mercury is on. We've gotta find our voice again. We gotta find our guts, we gotta find our heart. And what we do is we step into it. Here's a quote from Dietrich Bonhoeffer. This is from Richard Rohr's book on the Enneagram. I like the Enneagram personally for self like exploration. I guess there's nine personality types. I thought I was a seven for 10 years. Thought I was four for the last six years. Now I'm like, I think I might be a five. So the point is like, <laughs> It, it just gives you more words to think about yourself with. It may not be all that useful, right? But I found an enormous amount of use in it. My wife and I both in relating to each other back to that, like your relationships, your sleep, your relationships, your budget, my relationships, intimacy, connection. The Enneagram has actually helped in that. And you can just get, I'll link to the book that I think you should get, probably Rizo Hudson, but like I'll just link to their website. They have a great, great list of tools there. You can do tests, self-testing is a little, Anyways, Dietrich Bonhoeffer, right? A very intellectual guy. He was a hardcore Christian a scholar, right? And he was involved in a plot to kill Hitler because he was like, this is this aggression will not stand, man. He was actually gonna commit suicide so he didn't have to rat out the other people in the conspiracy with him. Fascinating story, really fascinating guy, right? And this is what he writes from prison. Not to do just anything, but to do what is right and to dare not to float about in the possible, but to bravely seize the real. Ooh, bravely seize the real? Move out of anxious hesitation into the storm of events, dot, dot, dot. This is big, this move out of anxious hesitation and into the storm of events. I like this. This is good medicine for me personally because my that whole thing of scatterbrained and you're going in all directions at once and you, you're not covering any ground at all. It's all this motion but no movement, right? Get out of anxious hesitation and into the storm of events, right? There's a storm of events out there.
How are you gonna make an impact on it? How are you gonna find your career in it? How are you gonna find deep intimacy in your marriage? How are you gonna find deep connection with your kids? How are you gonna keep your employees' livelihood intact, right? How are you gonna build a product, a company that's actually gonna sustain right? That's actually going to be here 10 years from now. A meaningful organization, right? You're going to move out of anxious hesitation and into the storm of events. You can't do that if you're not sleeping very well. <laughs> Simplify your life. Bring down your stress levels. Get to a point where, as Bill Murray says, I learned I could do my best work when I was the most relaxed. Do your best work. We need it. If you like this, let us know in the comments. Share this with some friends. I'm trying to grow this channel and figure out what we're doing next. Holler at your boy. Thank you. Goodbye. What's up, friend? Thanks for watching. Shout out to One Farm, the CBD. Shout out to Benchmade Knives and Z-Packs, by the way, that company. They didn't even have this bag for sale. And I was like, uh, can you make it for sale? So they're doing a pre-sale with some, actually some discounts. So check the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Shout out to my patrons. I'll try to put something up there this week. Bye-bye.